All right, this is an example of how to append data from one list to a, a bigger list using a spreadsheet. In this case, I'm using Excel. You can use LibreOffice or anything else. So first, we're looking at the main list that I have here. Um, key point is that both lists need to have a unique identifier for the records that you want to join together. Um, in this case, I have this voter ID number here on both lists. Uh, the second thing, I need to bring the list that I want to append onto this list into the same workbook. Um, so I have it open on my other uh, computer here. So I'm going to um, drag and drop that sheet into this workbook. Um, and in this list that I want to grab the data from, I want to get this phone field and this email column and attach that anywhere the big list has a matching voter ID number. <clears throat> so back to the main list, I'm going to go to the last column in the first row. Um, this is going to be my second phone column. And then this will be for the email address. So I'm gonna to go to the first row of the alt phone and start building my formula. Do that, I enter equals VLOOKUP. We're gonna use the VLOOKUP formula. Now the first value it wants, it says lookup value. That is the unique identifier in this um, sheet that we wanna find over in the other one. So I'm gonna click on the uh, matching row, the voter ID number here, and that's I2, put a comma. Now it says the table array. The table array is all of the columns in the other sheet that we need in order to do this match. So when I click over to it, that's going to include the Florida voter ID column here, which we need for the match, as well as the phone column and the email column. So I'm going to start on the first record of the voter ID here. Click that to put the upper left mark and then I'm going to scroll all the way down and we need to include all the way down to the last row and all the way over to the email column so hold shift down and select that so now we've got that whole range selected so an important point here is that the the matching the column that's used for the match always has to be the leftmost column of the data that you're going to use. So if it's not, you're going to have to reorganize this sheet to make sure that that ID column is, is furthest to the left. Now that I've got that range selected, I put another column in the formula. And now you can see it says column, column index number. So that is looking at our new sheet, which column do we want to grab the values for? Well, this is our alternate phone number. Um, so the way this formula works is you start at the number one, starting at the uh, leftmost column of your selection, which in our case was the Florida voter ID number. So that's going to be one. Registration date is going to be column two. And the phone two column is going to be number three. So I want column three out of our data range. Then the final, put a co uh, comma. And now the final value, you're just going to type in false. Um, it's a complicated explanation of what that does, um, but I don't think you're ever not going to want that to be false. So once we have that complete, I'll put the closing parentheses and hit enter. That puts us back on the main sheet. And I can see I have a zero there. Now what Excel does is if there is a match in the other sheet for that voter ID number, but there isn't a value in the phone column, it puts a zero, even though in the other sheet it's a blank. Well, we don't want uh, a zero here, so I'm going to change our formula a little bit, and I'm going to force Excel to insert a text value rather than a number. And I'm going to do that by typing equals quote, double quote, sorry, equals double quote, double quote, space, ampersand, and then our VLOOKUP formula. So this is forcing the return value to be a text 
uh, value instead of a number. So now you can see it's gone back to being a blank. <clears throat> um, now, before I copy this formula down to all the other rows, I need to change the formula a little bit because I never want our data range to change in the other sheet. And if you know Excel, as you copy formulas, it's going to increment the starting value of your formula. So I need to come over here to the formula. The lookup value we do want to change because we're going to be looking up um, each different row value here. So I'm not going to change that first uh, field, but I'm going to come here to our data range and I never want the column or the row to change in our range because I'm going to copy this formula and use it for our email column as well. And now I just make that change here and now I'll copy and paste this formula Actually, I'll just do it quickly using the drag feature here just to test it out. Okay, so a couple interesting things here. We come down here a bit further. The first several rows are blank, so we know those ID numbers match in the other list, but they don't have phone numbers. Then we get to an NA value. The NA means that Excel couldn't find a matching voter ID number in that other list. Um, so it's returning an error. If you look down, there's several of those. So those are all voters that aren't in the other list. And then we get down and actually see some valid phone numbers. So it looks like everything's working OK here. We just want to get rid of that error that's being reported. So I'm going to come back up to the first row again where our original formula is. And I'm going to modify our formula again. And I'm going to say equals if error. And then put our existing formula uh, after that open parentheses and then to complete the if error uh, function I'm going to put a comma and now I'm going to put two double quotes so what's that saying that what that is saying is if we have an error in our VLOOKUP function just put a blank cell so now I hit enter it doesn't affect that first cell so now I need to go ahead and do a quick copy here and now we've gotten rid, rid of the NAs. Um, let's go ahead and copy this over to the email column. OK, so now our email formula, I've got a problem here. I didn't put a dollar sign in front of the I. So now it has incremented that to a J, but that actually hasn't changed, even though we're now looking up the email. We're still going to use the voter ID column, which is I as the unique index. So now I've changed that. We did already um, make our data range, force it to stay the same, so it's good. But now we also need to change which value gets returned. Uh, because it's no longer the third column. So if I click over to the new sheet, and now I count from our first column, which is voter ID, all the way over to email, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we want to return the seventh column value. So I'm going to change that three to a seven. Go to the end. Hit enter to make the change. And now let's do a quick preview copy here. And there we go. It looks like it's returning it correctly. Um, <clears throat> one thing you want to do is do a quick lookup between your list just to make sure that it's actually copying the correct values. Um, so just look at the value it's inserted here. Look at the name and voter ID number and then go over to your existing list and look it up and make sure that it's it's pulling the correct info. One thing I like to do is, oh, now that we actually have these formulas both correct, I'm going to go ahead and do a full uh, copy and paste down to here. 
So now we've got that info copied over for all the records where they have a match. One thing I do like to do is after I have the values, I like to do a copy and then I like to do a paste special. Um, paste special. And tell it only to copy the values. That way I'm getting rid of the underlying formula. So now you can see I've got a copy of all the values match up. And now I can get rid of these columns that have the formula. Um, and if you look at the contents of these cells now, it's actually the values here. And there is no reference back to the other sheet. So even if I delete this other sheet, or I do anything else that messes up this other sheet, I'm not going to mess up the values that I've successfully appended onto this sheet. I think that's it. Thanks.